So a lot of people have been asking about side chaining, so I'm going to show you how we can do it inside Cubase 5.5. And I've got a little sequence here. I've basically got the Groove Agent 1 with a kit loaded, the Tribal House kit. Got some elements programmed here. I've got a bass line, which is coming from Helion 1 with the Voyager bass preset. And I've got a white noise that I've just created with the prologue. And I took all the oscillators down and I've got noise here up and basically switch to the high pass filter here. So I've got a nice thin sound. So have a listen. The other thing that I did with the noise, which was a mono source sound, was to add the mono to stereo plugin. So these are the settings here. I'll take it off. So we've got a nice width on there. So I'm going to show you how we deal with the routing and what we do is firstly on the noise which we're going to be using to demonstrate the technique. We're going to come down and come to Steinberg, come to Dynamics, Compressor. The most important thing to do when you're doing the sidechaining is to turn on this sidechain button. So this is active now and what we need to do is to feed the kick signal through this compressor. Now if I use the kick that I've got here what would happen is, is that when the kick stops playing, that the side chaining would not be working. So what I want to do is to make a copy that we can't hear so that we could actually have it running. And in the breakdowns, we wouldn't hear the kick, but we would hear the effect. So what I'm going to do is just simply set up a new instrument. I'm going to do edit instrument track, I'm going to drop down Steinberg drum groove agent one. I'm not doing this using the instrument rack because I don't need lots of outputs so I'm just going to load up the same kit as before so we're going to go for the tribal house kit so we can see it's loaded now so what we want is the kick I'm going to bring this down a copy and on the output routing for this and I'm going to name this SC kick the sidechain kick and let me just double click in here push shift and enter to name the actual MIDI part the same as the track so we've got here the kick plane. We want to make sure that we have no output, so we're not going to hear it. If I solo that, we're not hearing it, but we can see the kick still being triggered. And what we do is we feed into the white noise, and we do so by opening up the channel strip settings. And you can see here on the right hand side, we have sends. If I drop down, we've now got sidechain listed for the white noise. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to take it to zero dB. So what we're doing is we're sending an exact copy of the kick into that compressor and we'll start to see some activity occurring here. We need to make some changes to the settings though. Let's have a listen. You can see that the gain reduction is occurring when the kick is hitting. I'm going to take the attack faster. Also what I'm going to do is take the analysis to peak mode, which is much better for a kick. And now what we need to do is take the ratio a bit higher. Really get to hear that effect coming in now. In a way, this is your strength. The more you go on the ratio, the deeper the gain reduction. So if I take this back up, there's nothing. So this is how deep you want that volume ducking to be. So there we go. The other thing to do is adjust the release. If you go quick, the volume comes back up quickly. If you go longer, it takes a longer time. So you can time it so it feels like it's like an offbeat. So let's just have a listen with that back in context. And what we can do is take the kick out and it's still pulsing. 